Going back to work after having kids is a struggle for many of us, but it's even harder to leave your child for a job you don't like. That was the dilemma for this mom, who came up with a unique approach that ended up giving her the work-life balance she craved, as she explains in this video. I'm Diane Mocha. Welcome to Working Mom Warrior, where we help you dump the stress of juggling career and kids by learning the hacks that are working for other moms and relating to their stories of frustration and success. Moms like Liz Pankner, who was working full-time as a teacher when she had her first child and decided to be a stay-at-home mom. I decided to stay home so that I can be with my child, so I did stay home without working for about a year and at that point I was missing my career but still wanted the opportunity to be able to um, be with my children. She didn't want to leave her baby five days a week and she didn't love teaching enough to put her child in daycare even as an occasional sub. But Liz craved a return to work so she took a leap and decided to leave teaching behind. In the very beginning of it I was like what do I want to do with myself to be happy every day? you know, versus what I thought other people wanted me to do or what I felt like I needed to do. I really had to like look back at myself and figure out what I, what I needed. So how did you switch to a new career without committing full time and having experience in it? A lot of moms would like to do something like that. Give them an insight how you were able to do it. Um, I have a lot of support from my husband. I think that's really helpful because I wasn't super happy with what I was doing before. But a new career? meant learning new skills just to get a foot in the door and that's not easy to do after kids come along. I had to spend a little time up front studying and getting myself ready for this new career before I was able to just leave my previous one. Um, so I had to do kind of a lot up front to get myself ready for it but then you know once I was ready to make the switch it's hard but I, I did it because I, I knew I'd be happier. Liz had to confront all the worries that come with being a working mom. Did it turn out to be tougher than you thought? It is just because um, when I do have to work, there's always that, uh, that possibility that my child's going to be sick or my caretaker is going to be sick. Um, so I worry about that a lot and it's just something I think every working parent has to deal with and come up with like a backup plan. Um, so yes, I do feel like I'm juggling more, but I also feel more fulfilled because I'm able to do two things versus you know choosing my career or staying home. Liz said that passion for developing a new part-time career and staying home with her kids the rest of the time helped carry her through the ups and downs. I don't have the same job that I had before. I had gone, I've gone through a couple different jobs and you know, um, to get to the point that I'm at now. Now she works for a big international gym as a fitness coach two days a week. I was able to work part-time hours or around my husband's schedule, so like early mornings, late evenings, so that we could kind of take turns taking care of him. But that means she has to get up really early to get in her own workout before she coaches others or nurtures her boys, now two and five years old. But I do get up at 4.30 in the morning to do that, so that I guess I'm, I am missing out on some sleep. Um, but it's, I'm able to go you know, before my kids wake up, before my husband even wakes up, and it's done and out of the way, so that is a priority for me for sure. That's when you work out, at 5 in the morning? It is, yes. <laughs> wow. And so do you feel a little more exhausted or even a little more cranky because you're not getting as much sleep as you used to? Oh yes, I miss my sleep, absolutely, yes. I try to sneak in a little nap here and there when I'm able to, but um, yeah, it's hard. Do you find yourself taking it out on anyone around you and then do you judge yourself when that happens? Oh my God, I snapped at my kid. Yes, absolutely, yes. But she doesn't dream about going back to being a stay-at-home mom. Honestly, I think it's because I've chosen to go part-time, I think it's actually made my life better because I do have that balance. Um, so I think that I'm happier overall. So the choice was the right thing for me. Liz says she still misses things she no longer has time for, like playing tennis or just being alone. But she prioritizes self-care and encourages other moms to do the same. Listen to yourself. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. Um, try not to take care of everybody else first I think as moms that's what they do and although that is part of our job you know you are the most important thing because you can't be a good mom a good wife a good employee or anything until you're able to figure out what you need to do so maybe just dig deep down and figure out what that is taking that journey to figure out how to adjust your work life 
to fit your home life can transform your emotional state from stress to fulfillment. And that's what this sales director had to learn after some tough years. So click on her story and find out how she was able to overcome an issue many of us confront sometimes before we even become a mom. And don't forget, spread a little of your own love to another mom who needs it.